Hello guys and welcome to chemistry class and of course today we are going to be looking at the topic valency please before we begin if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel it's very easy to do so and it is totally free you don't pay to subscribe to this youtube channel so there's a red subscribe button just below this video just click on it and that is all you have subscribed to this channel please do not forget to give this video a like give it a like it's not something difficult just click on like on the like button right now right now to so speak and of course this will help other uh, students to find this video all right so today we are looking at valency and do not forget that this uh, tutorial is brought to you by the o3 schools jump app which is currently being displayed on the screen and the o3 school jump app is uh, by far the best cpt practice app available it gives you a feel of how you are going to see your exam that day uh, the, the CBT environment is built and configured exactly like Jam's own. It has all the Jam pass questions and answers, all the recent Jam pass questions and answers on the app for all subjects. For all subjects, it has wonderful features. You can practice. You can you can you can do your mock tests. Um, of course, you can do your, your study mode also. There are a lot of other features on the app such as question search, where you can look for questions on that topics and what answer them after reading about the topic right uh, other wonderful features as is the utme challenge a challenge that uh, that brings all jam by together and they compete to win prizes uh, that is a yummy 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 uh, feature of the app all right so please uh, there are a whole, a whole lot of other features features of the app and the app you can use it anytime and anywhere once you have activated it the the app has two modes the first the free mode allows you to answer just five questions to test the app why the paid mode uh, asks you to activate with 2500 error a lot of you a lot of you will agree with me that 2500 error is something very 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 small it's what you will spend uh, on, on outings at a goal so why can't you spend it for your education well that question is left for you so if you want to activate the app follow the activation procedures and you are good to go so today i'm going to look at valency what is valency valency of an element or the valency of an element is simply its combining power. The valency, the valency of an element, element is simply its combining power. Its combining power. Right? So you may want to ask for that. Also, the valency of an element is the number of moles let me write it down so that you get it very well the valency valency of an element is the number of moles of moles of hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms that can combine with one mole of the atoms of that element so when we are talking about valency we are talking to elements right so we have said that what that the valency of an element is simply its combining power in very very simple definition and we also say that also the valency of an element is the number of moles of hydrogen atoms. The number of moles of hydrogen atoms that can combine with one mole of the atoms of the elements in consideration. All right. So, of course, uh, we can look at the periodic table to, uh, to give us a glance of the valencies of hot elements across what the period. Right? So if you look at uh, the periodic table from group 1 to group uh, 8 or group 0, right? So let us see uh, elements here. Let's see uh, uh, the groups. The groups here, right? Let's see group 1. Let's see group 2. Group 3. Group 4. Group 5. Group 6. Group 7. Then group 0 or group 8, right? All right, so now let's see the valencies. All right, now the valency of what? Of elements, rather, let me write valency here. The valency of elements in group one is simply one. The valency of elements in group two is two. 
the valence, valency of element in group 3 is 3. The valency of element in group 4 is 4. The valency of element in group 5 is 3. The valency of element in group 6 is 2. The valency of element in group 7 is 1. And the valency of element in group 0 or group 8 now, 8, right, or 0 is what? 0. Now, if you observe very well, you can notice that the elements in group 4 have the highest valency. This is the carbon family. The carbon family, right? The carbon family has the highest valency, right? right? Why you can see that elements in group 8 or group 0 have what no valency at all. And the elements in group uh, in group 8 are called the noble gases. Noble gases, or you also call them the inert what? Inner gases. All right. So we see that the, the, the element in group eight has no valency, while the element in group four, or usually called the carbon family, has the highest valency. Now, having known this about the periodic table, what does it help us to know? What does it help us to achieve? Why do we need to know the valency of all of elements? Because we have seen that what is their combining power. That means what when were elements combined together, like the valency of what those elements can help us to predict, can help us to predict the formula of what of the compound they form when element was combined, right? So it is one of the very very important what powers and reason why we must understand what valency very well. So uh, the, the formula of a compound can be predicted. From what? From the valency. Now that we have seen this, now there's another important thing we need to know before we talk about the form, the the, 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 the prediction of the formula of a compound. The, the important note is that some elements have variable or valency. What I mean that what, what I mean by variable valency is that they can have more than one valency. And why does this happen? This happens because, because of what electronic configuration. Because what ele elements, uh, well, ele ele electrons rather, they change shells. And when they change shells, most sometimes they lose what electrons. And so you can see that what some elements will have varied what valency. Let's see examples of those what elements. Elements that have varied valency. You see them? Number one, what I want to talk about is nitrogen. Nitrogen has what? Uh, a valency nitrogen nitrogen has valency of what minus three or what or minus five so these are what are the valence sort of nitrogen so we have other what um, uh, uh, elements that have very valency like copper copper has the valency of one and what two the cu plus cu plus is called what the cuprous you should take note of that why the cu2 plus is called what the cupric all right so that is copper copper has what a very valency of one and two also we have silver silver also have a very valency of one and two all right so uh, uh silver is what ag the ag plus is called the argentos why would the ag2 plus be called the what argentic all right, AG2 plus, please. AG2 plus is agentic. It's agentic. Why the AG plus is called is what is agentos. Uh, we also have what um, mercury. All right, having a value of one and what and two also. The word HG plus is called the mercurius. Why was the HG2 plus is called the mercuric? All right, so that is for mercury. Then, of course, we also have some what some uh, some elements. We have iron. Iron has what valency of what plus two and what plus three, two and three. The Fe two plus is called the what ferrous. Sorry, it's called the ferrous. Why what the Fe three plus? Fe three plus is called the ferric. All right. We also have other elements. We have uh. Uh, tin, tin. That is what Sn. Sn has valency of plus two and plus four. All right. Now uh, the Sn two plus is called the Sn two plus is called 
the stannous why would the sn4 plus sn4 plus is called the stannic all right just take note of them they also have um, another uh, okay i have lead lead pb pb that's pb all right so that's the valency of what plus two also and plus four why the uh plus the pb two plus is called the plumbus plumbus the pb2 pb4 plus is called the word the plumbic all right so these are elements that show what a variation in what in valency they are variable valencies and of course these are their names so in an exam you may be you may be told that what that and just will just be called the name of one of the uh variable valency will just be called instead of what putting what the the actual valency on the on the element and so you may be required to what to just state what the name right you look through your all three schools jump up look for the past questions on that chemistry definitely you see things like this on that so please get your app and make sure that what you have to keep on studying till till you enter your exam or oh, it's very important all right so um now we already know that or that the total number of what the total valency of what of atoms in a compound add up to zero so if we know that total valency of what of atoms in a compound add up to what to become zero then with that knowledge we can be able to use it to look for the valency of a particular element in a compound it's as simple as abc so for example now if i'm giving the compound like cl2o7 and then we are told to find the valency of what of chlorine in this compound it's very easy we already know the number of atoms of chlorine we have in this compound we know the number of atoms of oxygen we have in this compound so what we just need to bring to bear is the charge on oxygen so the charge of, on oxygen is what is minus two minus two for oxygen right so what you simply do you know the number of atoms of chlorine here is what is two that is two cl right then plus into bracket now now the charge on uh, oxygen is what minus two times what now and seven now we know that the total valency of atoms in the compound is zero so that means what well, everything is supposed to be what zero right because we're looking for the valency of chlorine here so the total valency will be, what, will be equal to zero must be equal to zero so with this now i'm going to have two cl then plus into bracket minus two times seven is what is 14 minus 14 rather which is equal to zero now having known this we can open this bracket plus times minus is what is minus so that's two cl minus 14 is equal to zero then 2CL is equal to 14. All right, if you divide both sides by 2, we have 2, we have 2. CL equals to what? Plus 7. So the valency of chlorine in this compound, cl 207 here, yeah, is what is plus 7. It's very, very easy to calculate. All right, so if I give him, let's say, uh, a compound like, um, like hydrazine, hydrazine, having a formula NH2. NH2. If I told to find the what the valency of what of nitrogen in this compound, what I'm going to do the same approach. How many atoms of nitrogen are in this compound? Just two. So that's what two n. Then plus how many um atoms of what hydrogen are here? That is four. But of course, what is the charge on hydrogen? Hydrogen is plus one. Is plus one, isn't it? And that plus one. So I'm going to have plus into bracket uh four times plus one, and uh, four times one. Then it's equal to what now? Zero. I hope understood what you did there. All right. I don't want to put uh, four times plus one because we already know that the charge is what is plus one, of course. So four times one is equal to zero. So that two n plus four, four times one, which is four, is equal to zero. So uh, um, four will go to the other side, isn't it? So that two n is equal to if a positive sign is crossing the sign of equality, it turns to negative. I want to have minus four. So that will divide both side by two over two. Two cancel two n is equal to minus 4 over 2 is what is minus 2 now the valency of nitrogen in this compound in hydrogen in hydrazine is what it simply was minus 2 so this is basically what uh what we mean when we say that what that the that the, the, the valency in the compound is actually what add up what to zero right the constant the valency of the constituent atoms is actually add up to to zero all right so i haven't known this now we have said also that valency with valency rather we can be able to predict the formula of a compound so let us see how we can use the valency of what 
of uh, of, uh, of atoms in the compound of the constituent atoms in the compound to predict the formula of that compound so for example if you know the valency of what of element one let's say element one element one valency then let's say element two two valency then let's see what the result of interchange so by that third column what we mean is that to, to write the formula of what of a compound using the valency what you simply do is to interchange the valencies for example if you have for example if you have sodium which is what Na plus the charge on sodium is, uh, is plus one so the charge is what the valency is, is one isn't it now let's say we have chlorine which is what minus the valency is what minus one here yeah, isn't it so now when we want to write the formula of this compound what you simply do we interchange the valency so we write the first element here na right then what is the uh, valency of chlorine one is one any one let me just put it there first and not minus one or the, we forget about the the, the the sign so any one let's say then i'm going to have what cl cl the charge uh, the valency is what is one also cl one so so that was the formula of what uh these two elements combining will be because of what now NaCl. you understand so now let's take another example to make to drive our point home let's we have c a calcium is what two plus then uh, the valency is two then cl minus the valency is minus one or one rather i'm just saying one right so the valency here is what is one so for example uh okay minus one that is what minus one all right this is plus two this is what minus one all right so then now what we do the same thing we do take cash on ca right then what is the, the valency here one ca one then we take what cl of course this is what two so take cl2 so that the, the, the formula of the compound form now because of what c is cl2 it's not very easy it's very easy let's take another one let's see for example aluminium three plus uh that the valency is three and then we have what uh uh, uh let's say oxygen two minus valency of what minus two all right so what you simply do is also what interchange there all right so i'm going to have al first that's two then what o that is what now three so i'm going to have what al2 o3 that one is formed so let's see for example let's say ca2 plus having a valency of two then let's see p04 having a valency of minus three so if these two uh if these two combine what happens in have lots your ca first your ca first having what three right ca3 isn't it this takes ca3 then p O four, we take what we take two. So it's as simple as A B C. So this is basically all about what valency. So we have, we have known that what the, the the definition of valency in this class. We have seen definition of valency in this class. We have seen, of course, uh, 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 we have seen what valency can help us achieve, right? So can help us to what to find what to write or predict the formula of a compound and so many other things. So please. Follow the episode uh, up one after the other, and of course, you no know, regret that you join us. All right, so we'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.